Hi guys, welcome back. This is like the fifth time I'm recording this video, so bear with me if I repeat stuff or stumble over something. I'm just having one of those days. Um, the reason that I'm creating this video is a few years back, probably, I don't know, close to 10 years back now, I created a spreadsheet in Excel to kind of help myself um, learn how to figure out the cost of my product for, you know, anything that I'm making and this video can be used for anyone of any time type of maybe hobby business or any business at all where you are buying a bunch of products and um, creating something new <coughs> sorry there so if you're buying like products like if you're a jewelry maker if you're making stickers if you're um, a lot of people on my channel make soap so if you're a soap maker um, I don't know if you bake cupcakes or anything that you know that you're having to put in work and make buying you know products to make something new <laughs> like I said I have filmed this a lot today so bear with me anyway I went ahead on the computer and I put together a little demonstration for you guys on how to use this spreadsheet if you're interested in it, there is a link down below and I'm going to be putting a coupon code up on the video to give you guys a discounted rate just to basically say thank you guys for watching the video. That way I know that you've watched the video and it's going to be at a much cheaper rate than I offer it to anybody else. So um, you can find that coupon code and as long as this video is up and playing, as long as my Etsy shop is up and running, you can download it and you can get started. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to go down to the Etsy store, you're going to download the file, and it's going to have an Excel sheet, and you also can use this, and there are a few different other like programs that are similar to Excel that this will actually work with. Um, my computer for a long time, I just had the program called Numbers, and it also works in that program. So um, I don't know what other programs are out there that are similar. I can't think of the names of them, but anyway... You're just going to want to go ahead and, like I said, you can use it. <laughs> so just, just download it right now. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, don't mind me. I'm just tired of filming the video, guys. I've filmed it 20 million times. Okay, so what we're using for an example today is I'm using a recipe from Wholesale Supplies Plus website. Um, the reason I'm using that is because they do a really good job at illustrating all the products you need on your shopping list, which they have listed right here. They do a good, um, you know, they tell you how long it's going to take, how many you're going to get out of it. And then they also give you the breakdown of the actual product that you're going to need to measure and put in it. And that's exactly what we need to get an idea if a project one is worth something that we should invest our time in before we even buy it. Um, or to just give us an idea like where can we retail this product at. So <clears throat> to get started, um, since I've filmed this multiple times, I went ahead and I went ahead and went to the shopping list and I put everything that they had on their shopping list. Um, and I believe I did it at the sizes. This might this I've been playing around with it, so bear with me if it's a little bit off. But anyway. So once we have all of the items, and I like to list them as close as I can to what they have here because it just makes it simpler um, when you're referencing this um, document at a later time. Um, and on top of that, I want to point out that there is a column that I left for you guys where you can type where you're getting the products from and you just want to put it in there. And this is part of like good record keeping. You don't have to fill out that column on the spreadsheet. But if you are price shopping later, let's say, you know, you've been running your business for a year and Wholesale Supplies Plus is where you used to get this item, but they have outrageously upped their prices like they do. And now you need to find it somewhere cheaper because now you're no longer competitive. And if you don't, you're going to have to raise your prices, um, which I mean happens sometimes. And that's okay, but this will be a tool that kind of helps you um, so you can have that for a reference point. And um, that way when you're looking at your pricing, you're like, whoa, where did I buy that from again? You know, kind of, it just gives you a better idea or like I was saying, more organization with your things. So I like to use this tab so much. It just makes everything, um, like I said, really helpful when you are trying to, 
you know, update your pricing. Like I, you might want to do that once a year or once every six months, whenever, whatever works for your business. Um, I have some tabs down here below. I have two of them set up for you. One is just kind of an example to show you how I've used it on another um, recipe and you can kind of put that in there. And then I have a new one that is blank and you can go ahead and just make a copy and I like to move it to the end. Did it make a copy? I don't think it did. Move our copy. I forgot to hit this button right here. So then you can make a copy of it and then you can re rename it and I am horrible at typing and talking at the same time so you will notice that <laughs> but anyway you can go ahead so that way you know that this is the cup of coffee face mask um actually it says body mask but we call it a face mask so anyway that will keep you organized too if you're trying to find a particular recipe and you need to like recalculate the cost. That's just something there for you. And I like to keep, you know, both of these. This one you can use for like a reference. Um, let's say you mess something up in the coding, then you'll have it there. Or, you know, you have this nice one that's blank. So every time you copy a sheet, you know, okay, I don't have to delete everything that's on there. So back to the sheet and you can take these tabs and you can move them over. We can move those right next to each other so I can toggle back and forth um, if that makes it easier for you guys. I don't know how like familiar you guys are with um, <clears throat> using Excel. So if you guys have questions, just leave a comment down below. Um, I know everybody's experience level is going to be a little bit different. I've actually had people download this from my Etsy store and um, I've actually helped them with some troubleshooting um, before. So if they have issues, you can always reach out. But I'm going to try to explain as much as I can in this video. So when you're making this sheet, you want to make sure that the titles of whatever you put in this column on this product match exactly as they do on this one. So I think sometimes if you, I don't know if it still does this, but if you put an extra space at the end of that word, it'll pick it up and then it doesn't like populate the stuff correctly. So you got to be kind of careful about that. Um, I don't think it's case sensitive, but if you're having issues, that is one thing you probably want to check before you get like too like frustrated with it. Just be like, okay, did I type the word powder right? Or, you know, oh, nope, I had a typo on that. So just kind of look for that sort of stuff. Um, and keep that in mind when you're doing this. That's why I like to, like I said, copy and paste everything. Okay, and for the coffee, guys, I'm gonna be honest, I just made up the pricing on coffee. I It's been a long time since I've bought coffee. I don't drink it regularly. Um, so you just kinda, if it sounds out of whack, I apologize. <laughs> anyway, so we have all the items here. Um, and I put on my cover sheet the, like they said, one pound. That's what I put on my cover sheet. But you can see down here, they have us using only 5.9 ounces of that. Um, so you will have some left over with this. But that kind of gives you an idea um, how this is going to work. And you're going to see how this is going to help you figure out your like true cost of things. Because when you buy it, I, I don't remember if I showed you guys already. Whoops. But they charge you like $23 to buy this whole thing. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's I've searched it so many times it's just automatically popping up. We'll take a look at yeah, $23 and 62 cents to buy the kit. <clears throat> okay, so sorry. Got a little sidetracked there. I didn't want to forget about that. So you're going to be able to see like, let's say you've done this recipe once and you're beyond <coughs> buying it as a kit and you're just restocking individual items. It's going to give you a better idea of like what your true cost is here. So let's go ahead and plug in all the numbers here. We're just gonna type in blank here. This is what I mean by I had technical difficulties when I did this. I have not used Excel in forever. I used to be like a really good at Excel. Not so much anymore. Um, okay, so anyway, I hate to embarrass myself on here. We have 
0.18 ounces and we're just putting it exactly how they have it here you don't need to type in ounces or anything like that you just need to type in like the measurement amounts so mononut clay okay and the pots we are using one pot <clears throat> and the caffeine point three zero olive oil point two four glycerin 1.18 cocoa kaolin clay and the coffee brewed coffee nine point and there's also coffee grounds in here. I didn't add that in here, but we probably should. I mean, they're gonna be in the price of the coffee. We're not gonna worry about it. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, so now we have our entire recipe in here. These are all the ingredients. This is how many ounces we're using in the recipe. And then this is calculating for us based on what we have on the cover sheet um what it's going to cost to make price per ounce it's just dumping basically from the first sheet and then it's telling us okay since we're only using 0.18 of that it's costing us 60 cents for the this water soluble preservative um so every time we use this we're only using 60 cents of the product okay so that's we're off to a good start now the things that you want to modify down in this section is we're only going to get four out of here so for the total units you put four in there okay so now you'll see that we are at a negative we're losing money on these when we make them okay there's a few things that we can change we can change our price that we sell them at so if we wanted to sell these at six dollars um, a piece for one little pot that's not gonna happen we're probably gonna have to sell them <clears throat> let's see we'll do nine dollars nope let's go up a little bit I've played around with these numbers I don't remember where I'm at so we would have to sell these at a minimum of ten dollars um, a piece to get a profit <clears throat> and when we do that we're only making a very small profit on these okay so <clears throat> cost to remake so if we bought just these products like cost to remake is actually pretty low that's actually good but anyway we can one thing i wanted to point out here is that i have the labor on here so i put two ounces so this is you for this it's not measured in ounces but you want to say an hour so if we look back on this sheet like i was saying before they tell us that it takes a half an hour to make this so we can actually update that to 0.5 and then see we're making even a better profit right now um <clears throat> and this is how much we're making for each one and um basically like the total profit here so let's see let's mark this down back to the six dollars and we're going to update a few more things so we're still if we wanted to sell these at six dollars we're still making money on these um, again not very much money but we are making money which is what you want when you run a business the other thing i was going to say about the labor cost is you can change this labor cost to anything that you want i don't remember if i said this already in the video but if you decide that you have somebody working for you and it costs that you pay them ten dollars an hour to work for you you can change that number to ten dollars an hour or if you want to play around with it, let's say you are, you're the only one working right now, but you know at your current job, you make $20 an hour, whatever. I'm just throwing out numbers, guys. You can change that to $20 an hour because you say, okay, that's what I make now. But if you want to quit your job one day, you can up this to $30 an hour or whatever have you, like whatever your scenario is, you can kind of update that. <clears throat> and that way, um, when you want to figure out where I'm at, how much does it truly cost me to make something like that, um, you will get a better idea of that. <clears throat> so then we change that to $30 an hour. You're still making sense. You're still making some sense. So you're still making a profit is what I meant to say on this. Um, so that is definitely a good thing if you charge $6 a piece and you're making 59 cents on these. Um, <laughs> it, you know, 
it's still, like I said, you're still getting a, a profit. And then I have this line here for the payout. That's where this $15 comes from. So that's how much you're making. And if you were just making one of these at a time, you can literally put, you know, that $5 in your pocket or in your bank account or whatever you want to basically reinvest. And that's what I have too about the reinvesting number there. So you guys can kind of play around with this and hopefully what I just said makes sense. But you can put in whatever information that you want to kind of modify this to your unique items, your, your business, the way you want to run it. It gives you an idea of can I realistically buy this product or buy the materials for this product and have it in my shop. Um, so that is a good thing to, to think about. <clears throat> and also... Um, Oops, sorry here. Also, it's, you know, just a good thing <clears throat> for you guys in general. I feel like I'm losing my voice. But anyways, it's just a good thing to keep you guys organized. Um, you can check out my Etsy store and the link below. And it'll give you a link to the, um, I think it's called the price calculator or something like that. There will be a link down below. Use the coupon code on this video. Like I said, it's going to be as it's going to be good as long as the, the items listed and um, this video is up and running. You guys will be able to use that. Use the coupon code at any time. You know, I'm doing it on a percentage off. So that way you guys can, you know, this like forever good kind of content for you. And I'm giving it to you guys at a discounted price just because you watched my video and you have been supporting my content. So I want to give you give you guys something back. If you guys enjoyed this video, like this video, like this type of content, learn something today, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and like the video. Um, if you're interested in learning more about like soap making or handmade bath and beauty or just maybe your homemade business stuff, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and check out some of my other videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you again later.